Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and today I'm going to be looking at Forgotten Hope 2. Now I have covered this game before on the channel but it's been updated recently so I thought I would jump in and let's have another look at some of the some of the maps that are in here and some of the vehicles and things like that. I'm going to be jumping in on single player so it's just going to be me in here and while I was looking through the community map pack which I downloaded I found Pegasus Bridge. Now all respect to the paras again, and if you haven't seen a bridge too far, you really must see it with uh, Sean Connery in there, and I think Michael Caine's in it as well, an absolutely fantastic film. So I'm going to jump in on the German side, and we're going to head on down towards Pegasus Bridge and just have a little looky-looky around. So I've jumped in straight away. Now, I'll, I'll be the first to admit I'm not that clued up when it comes to tanks and vehicles in the World War II era. Usually got to ask my friend Stu or Bear or Red or even Christiansen, Hans Christians, Cloggersons. I have to ask those guys about the vehicles in there. So I don't really play a lot of War Thunder and things like that. So here we are. It looks like this is a, a Panzer. I don't even know my um, Roman numerals, so I'll call it the Panzer Wischen Fashion. And that will do for all you tank nerds out there, I'm sure you can correct me. So, as you can tell, it sounds really nice and beefy. So let's head up, and with all these maps, such as the World War II mod that is part of Project Reality, this is a separate thing, separate thing alone. I'm not going to kid you, it's a bit of a nightmare to get this thing installed, but once it's installed, if you love your World War II, this is probably the most in-depth thing you're going to get until the squad version and the World War II beta mods are updated with more content. There's so many maps in here and so many vehicles, I probably couldn't name them all. There are Spitfires, Bombers, Messerschmitts, there's even Flamethrowers, there's... Uh, you name it from World War II, it's probably going to be in here. Penzer Trek, uh, Half Tracks, all sorts. And I presume it's going to be pretty much the same as Project Reality version. In the fact as in it's created one-to-one -one. so the proper scales the towns the street names everything else is going to be realistic in here so let's just head a little bit further down here and we should see the iconic pegasus bridge there it is on the left absolutely amazing if you don't know enough about this google it as i say also see if you can see the film a bridge too far which is just absolutely fantastic and was a great a great film done in a respectful way to the Paras and, and the Germans as well, let's face it. Um, it was done in, in, a, in a great way, really. So here we are on the bridge, one of the bridges that the Paras had to take during World War II to cut off the supply chain for the Germans and uh, reinforcements didn't come and the supplies didn't come and it was an absolute bloodbath on both sides of this place and if you've been watching the news recently they have actually found an unmarked grave of the paras that actually died defending this bridge and they will the bodies will be exhumed and given the proper proper burial service that they deserve really so here we are, we can even see the gliders over there in the distance, which was came down, and as we know from my previous video, a lot of them died in the poles that were put up by the Germans to stop the gliders coming in. So I don't know what this gun is, it, a, a quacker, I'm going to call it, a quacker 50mm. Again, you can correct me all you want. I love World War II, I'm just not that knowledgeable about a lot of the things that are in here, so... Let's have a look at different round types again obviously I know what HE are uh, I don't know what the other two are what the benefit is to those probably one is going to be against infantry and, and the other one again somebody can tell me what this one is at the bottom not quite clued ok so that's enough of that As you can see some nice little trenches here and as we move over, let's just have a look at what these other buildings are over here. Quite a nice distance, and gra the graphics are actually quite nice. Nice and sharp at this resolution, even though to say the game is, what is it now, 16 years old. 
and I have Welcome been, as I've mentioned in another video, I have been enjoying Project Reality a lot more than I have Squad, if I'm honest. But that's only because Squad's in its infancy. It will get there eventually. I mean, look at the support that uh, Project Reality and Battlefield 2's had. Still lots of servers, still players in here, and that's an MG42 I can see there. Let's just see if that bad boy works. Sweet baby Jesus and the disciples, that is loud. You can just, I mean, I, I'm saying you can just, you can't really imagine fighting over this with MGs and just the murder and death that took place in this area. It's just incredible and we just take it for such for granted these days. So let's head up. This actually is a counterweight, if I remember, that's to move the bridge up and down. I don't think they actually reinforced or actually were fighting on this section of the bridge. You would just get sniped or killed instantly on both sides. I did wonder whether there was an option in here to actually get in the counterweight, just to have a look around, but that may be historically correct. I don't know why you would want to get in there. Don't know how thick these walls are. Could have been used as a shield, really. Let's just have a look what we got here. Let's let one of these off. Let's fire it down towards the glider. Then we'll go down and have a look at the actual gliders which is probably a spawn point, I'm going to guess, for the British. Nice. Let's just run down and have a look at the gliders. Yeah. Silky smooth, as you can imagine. We've all got pretty, pretty current hard, good hardware at the minute, but even for a game this old, it does look good. Uh, and now regarding maps, there were so many maps. Good God, there was a Guadalcanal... Uh, Wake Island, there was uh, Midway, there was, uh, oh, fucking hell, the, there must be 40 maps, easily, easily. And there was two quite full servers, even at the middle of the day, so I will get some multiplayer footage of this. I did have a little blast around in the actual tank. And the rules in this game are pretty relaxed compared to Project Reality. Anybody can take a vehicle. You don't need to be uh, a specific class to have APCs or this or this, or even a pilot. You can literally jump in. So a lot more relaxed. So this probably would be a really nice introduction before you get into Project Reality to get used to the fundamentals, the way it plays. Uh, a lot slower than the games where, where you, you're probably used to if you don't like your milsims. So this, as I said, it's all free. You can download it from their main website. I'll put the details in the description box below. But so far, for a World War II nut, if you love that sort of stuff, this game is going to be right up your alley, as is the World War II beta for Project Reality. Give that a look as well. There's a couple of videos on my channel on that as well. But in the meantime, I've been a paraplayers saluting and giving my respect to both sides at Pegasus Bridge. I shall see you in some multiplayer, no doubt some more video footage from Forgotten Hope 2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a video coming real soon. Bye -bye.